I had been concerned about a report that I heard about the tallest trees in the world, the coast redwoods, and those trees were in danger of falling. I didn't want to lose any of that. I felt responsible. In 1975, Crowley meets with a government official in San Francisco, pleading that the redwoods be saved. She is unsuccessful. Well, just when I got home from that trip is when I saw on the news that Ford was coming into town. I said, it's, he's only two blocks away. I said, i got to go and talk to him. And then I thought, that's foolish. He's not going to stop and talk to you. Maybe I'll take the gun. At the same time, I had ejected the bullet in my apartment, and I used the gun as it was. And I actually said to myself, are you going to use this gun that's on your leg? This weighty piece that was walking me down there to the Capitol building. I think it's unnecessary. I don't know why you have me locked up. Yeah, the, the parole does not hold my life in its hands. Charlie never thought he did. I fall in love with him. Excuse me, I fall in love with him continuously. He's a once in a lifetime soul. He's got a lot of spirit. He's got more heart and spirit than anyone I've ever met. Uh, he definitely should be out. He didn't kill anybody. The book is controversial. Well, they're not his own words. So the, t the title is false. And he's truthful. He never expressed all this desire for power, this desire for acceptance. And this is making him more normal or, or putting himself on him. The Tree of Liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. God forbid we should ever be 20 years without such a rebellion. And what country can preserve its liberties if its rulers are not warned from time to time that this people preserve the spirit of resistance? Let them take arms.